Hello, and welcome to Chill Out, Tune In, and Turn On, Guided Meditations with Pat. So today is our first episode, and uh, I wanted to address some things that have been an issue for me and practices that I've been using to kind of help me manage in the situation that we're finding ourselves in right now. Um, and one of the biggest things that I think a lot of us are working on is our issues with fear and uncertainty. And meditation can be such a huge ally in helping to manage that. Not only meditation, but also some really simple kinds of energy work. Um, energy being kind of that prana or chi that a lot of us have heard of. But uh, maybe we haven't uh, cultivated practices in that or we know about them and just aren't using them all the time. And I know that when I kind of lose sight of that, I start to kind of uh, fall apart a little bit. And so uh, we're going to talk about fear, our mind, our awareness, and how they can all kind of work together and how we can uh, mitigate some of these feelings and thoughts that we might be having um, around the uncertainties in our world right now. So fear in itself, it is a survival instinct and it's very important. Uh, its intent is to protect us from danger. And like with animals, they usually only experience fear in an immediate form. And so it's sort of like when a cheetah goes to chase a gazelle, the gazelle is going to get uh, a big shot of adrenaline as its sympathetic nervous system fires up. And this is going to help this gazelle to, uh, it's going to transfer all of its blood flow into its limbs. It's going to shut down digestion and it's going to go into just this immediate survival mode. And so what that means is like fight, flight, or escape. And so with the animals, once that cheetah goes after that gazelle, he's going to run. And as soon as he's safe, he's going to just start shaking it off. And you'll actually see animals just kind of shaking after they're done with some type of a fearful uh, encounter. And that helps to release this sort of built up energy that happens with their escape. But the thing is, is like once they're, they finally escape and then they just switch back to being in the flow of nature and they release the fears and they're not worried about the cheetah anymore. Uh, however, with us, um, it's not always as simple because we don't live in a world that is that basic. Um, right now, we have things that um, concern us, and they're not immediately going to go away. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to find ways of tuning in, turning on, and chilling out. So a uh, couple ways that we're going to do that is, like I said, is through cultivating awareness. And realizing that our thoughts are not our reality. And really just sort of tuning in and realizing that just in this moment, we're okay. And that can be enough to make a difference. Because there's really not that much we can change about the externals of what's happening. But we can always go within and look at how we're addressing those. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to walk you through some of that, how to slow the mind, how to catch yourself when you're kind of slipping. I know like for me, I've had several occasions over the past few weeks where I've spiraled into some really uncomfortable thoughts that are not supportive of my greater good and don't help me feel connected whatsoever. They just kind of make me want to go hide away in a hole somewhere. So anyway, so like I said, to remedy that, I've been upping my practice, and I wanted to share that with you so that you might be able to do it as well. All right, so we're going to begin the meditation now. Just find yourself seated comfortably, wherever that might be. I like to come to my altar. This is my space where I go to return to God or source and to really try to find my inner and higher self. And so this is one of my places that I go to return to that. You might like to go outside, 
find fun, some spot in nature because nature is so much better at returning to harmony than we are and it'll return us to harmony when we sit there and abide with that but anyway so find yourself seated uh, I'm sitting in a chair um, I like to sit on the edge of the chair instead of like all the way back so I'm sitting with my uh, my sitting bones right on the edge your feet are firmly planted on the ground you don't want to cross your ankles or anything like that so your feet are flat you can put your palms on your knees if you have a mudra if you like to hold your hands in one of the fancy ways you're welcome to do that those things are subtle and helpful for meditation but they're not really that important right now so just find yourself comfortable and just start to watch your breath allow your in breath to come in a little bit longer and a little bit deeper and just exhale and allow that to release you can meditate with your eyes open or closed whatever is comfortable for you I often find that I, my eyes close themselves because part of meditation is withdrawing your senses so that you're not focused on the external world that your senses create but you're going inside to your inner world so just allow yourself to go inside the breath is a vehicle drawing you in and exhale release another deep breath coming in and a long breath going out again and as that breath goes in follow it and see where you may experience tightness or constriction anywhere that seems less than expanded or free flowing <clears throat> and just take awareness of that with your deep in breath coming in I know for me that my belly gets tight and so I feel my solar plexus drawing inward and just allow that breath to come in and touch there for a couple times. Breath holding that energy, the prana, breathing it into our constricted places. And exhaling. We release the tension. Allow that breath to wash and cleanse you. Just a few more deep breaths, allowing your belly to soften. And your mind to relax. I want you to think of your mind now. Think of your mind with your mind. Imagine a clear, vast blue sky, like an endless summer day. And that vast sky is the nature of your true mind. 
Your true self. But with life blows in clouds and storms. And they cover up that clear blue sky. And give us the illusion that that vastness is gone. And all these events in our world that are so discombobulating are it's just a, it's a storm cloud moving in. But it's not 100% consistent. It's more partly cloudy. And you can still see the blue sky behind those clouds. Remember that that clear, vast, endless sky is always there. Right now with our focused awareness, we are more or less choosing what thoughts we think as we follow along with this meditation. It's as if we are sitting on a rock under that clear blue sky. And we're watching a series of cars go by. And each one of those cars zooming by almost bumper to bumper are patterns of thoughts that we can drop into with our awareness. And those thoughts can be alluring in any way. They can be dreams and hopes and aspirations. And as soon as you start choosing one of those cars as it zips by, your awareness jumps in. And then you're in a thought pattern, which is all those cars are, are just patterns of thoughts. And as you're zooming down the road now in the car, you remember, no, I'm just sitting under the clear blue sky and you come back yourself in that stillness. Maybe some of those cars that I've been jumping in are, I'm lured to them by fear. Fear of what might happen next what will come to pass. Concerns about lack. Concerns about how will I do this? How will we navigate these uncharted waters? And so my awareness jumps in one of these cars of fear. And I go zooming down the road away from myself. but then I choose to just follow my breath and breathe in and back to my present self, sitting under the clear blue sky. And sitting under the clear blue sky, I know that in this moment, my needs are met, I am comfortable. Remember this as you move in 
and through your days. Our mind will give us endless things to think and worry about, dreams, aspirations, desires. So many arise, so few come to pass. Returning to the clear blue sky. We breathe deeper. And now with our mind calmed, sitting under the clear blue sky, we're gonna move in to our body and just breathe for a little while into our belly, into our solar plexus, If you like, please invite Source to come down into you, that bright light. The endless source of wisdom, harmony, growth, and positive human evolution. The light flows in and basks your entire body. And now through your feet, breathe up from the earth and go across your floor, down the walls, into the ground. Feel your connection to this earth that supports us. And draw her energy up and in allowing it to rise with every breath. In this descending light, you breathe it in and with every breath it brightens and cleanses. And that earth energy rises and fills and rinses every atom of your body. Exhaling, you release those tight, tangled feelings. in that vast blue sky. You find it to dwell within you. I'm just gonna allow you to breathe in releasing all that is not of you or supporting to you. And exhale. We'll be concluding now. So if you want to continue, you can just pause the video and stay connected to that downward descending light and that upper rising energy of the earth. 
these energies are just shades of source energy that want to support us that want to free us from the unsupportive and to help us to arrive at our true path and our true grace and so you can make your practice in every breath when you feel the uncertainty rising or any thoughts that you don't want present, just breathe into yourself and return to your own clear blue light, that blue sky. I'd like to thank all of you for sitting with me and practicing and the bringing that light into our time is something that we can all do. You return to your body, you can wiggle your toes, your fingers, start to feel yourself back in your body, feeling more present and secure knowing that all is well, if only in this moment. I'd like to thank my buddy uh, Beckham for the, the car analogy in the meditation. He's uh, 10 years old and he shared that with me this morning and uh, I'd just like to thank him. And uh, just a reminder, you can get out of the car anytime you want of any thought and just come back to that clear blue sky. And know that Source does love us and want us to be happy. And so it is. Thank you again. I appreciate you joining me for Chill Out, Tune In, and Turn On with Pat. And I uh, hope to see you again in the near future. Blessings.